हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट समुद्रा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैरिटाइम स्टडीज इफ यू आर अ क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट हु वांट्स टू जॉइन मोर्चन इवन लुकिंग फॉर ऑप्शन दिस कैन आल्सो बी एन ऑप्शन लेट्स जस्ट टॉक अबाउट इट कोर्स आफ्टर ऑफर्ड आफ्टर ट्वेल्थ डी एंड बी मरीन इंजीनियरिंग कंपनी गिविंग स्पॉन्सरशिप इज एग्जीक्यूटिव शिप मैनेजमेंट कॉपेड Eligibility criteria class 12th means the results of class 12th board exam should be obtained at first attempt and from a regular board only. NIOS and improvement students cannot apply. First attempt means you cannot fail. Only those students who have appeared for class 12th board exam from a board that is approved by Ministry of HRD, Government of India, are eligible. The following marks must be obtained: minimum aggregate percentage 60%, minimum PCM percentage 60%. Minimum score in physics and maths individually should be fifty percent. Minimum aggregate for physics and maths should be sixty percent. A lot of options over here. For Andhra Pradesh and Kerala State Board, eleventh and twelfth aggregate marks will be considered for the above mentioned criteria. Copy it. So after that, if you are not class twelve student and you want to go for say join Samudra, you have done BSc, then BSc in physics or maths or chemistry or electronics. But when if you are doing BSc in electronics. With the physics, physics should be an individual subject in one of the years. That is important, and an average of not less than fifty-five percent marks in final year, and sixty percent marks overall. So BSc may all three years aggregate should be sixty percent marks overall, and in the last year should not be less than fifty-five percent marks. Candidate should also secure minimum fifty-five percent marks in PCM in class twelve. So, bhaiye clarity di hui hai. BSc karni hai, you have done class twelve. Minimum PCM should be in class twelve should be more than fifty-five percent. And then after that, BSc in one of these subjects, final year fifty five percent, and should be sixty percent aggregate overall. Clear? Suppose you want to go for if you have done B Tech and you want to go for Samudra, so then B E B Tech from college recognized by A I C T with an average of not less than fifty percent of aggregate in the final year. Final year percentage should not be less than fifty percent. In English, you should be one of the subject with minimum of fifty percent in tenth or twelfth. Copy it. Should not be less than fifty percent. Or even in case of you have got this degree over here or BSc, if you have done BSc, so any of these degrees or if you have done just tenth, then in tenth or twelfth, copy it. This is the eligibility criteria for DNS at Samudra Institute of Maritime Studies. So again, age criteria is your age should not be less than seventeen years as on the date of commencement of course. So upper age limit is twenty years for ten plus two candidates, twenty two years for BSc candidates. 25 years for BE B.Tech candidates. So date of commencement of course. Say this is 2023. So on 1st August 2023, your age should not be less than 17 years, or it should not be more than 20 or 22 or 25 years, depending on these situations or these qualifications. Again, English I have already talked about. Then comes IMECT. Candidate must pass IMECT, and they should have their rank certificate. Seats vary from 80 to 120. Physical and medical standard, DG shipping approved doctors. You get a medical then eye sight, no color blindness. Both eyes should be six by six. In worst case, one eye can be six by six, another eye can be six by nine. Copied. Next, Samudra Institute of Maritime Studies fees for DNS is seven lakh seventy one thousand. Once again, if you want to know how good is Samudra, how much is the waiting period, go to our college portal, watch the video till the end, and you'll get an idea and you'll get all the information out there. Let's move ahead. Eligibility criteria for B Tech educational qualification again, open board students or improvement students not allowed as per written that and from a regular board only. Then again, uh, minimum percentage sixty percent, minimum PCM percent sixty percent, minimum score in physics and maths in really fifty percent, minimum aggregate for physics and maths should be sixty percent. For Andhra Pradesh and Kerala state boards, eleventh and twelfth aggregate, दोनों का percentage मिला के will be considered for the above mentioned criteria. So it is bilkul similar to that of the DNS criteria. Again, English is bilkul similar to that of the DNS criteria. Candidates who have appeared for class twelve examinations and the results are yet to be declared are also eligible to appear. You can write appearing over there. But yes, once again, once your twelfth board result come and if you do not fulfill this criteria, you will not be selected. You should know that. Move ahead. The eligibility criteria for B Tech again not less than seventeen years as on the date of commencement. Of course, as I told earlier. First August twenty twenty three is for this twenty twenty three June batch. Copy it, and it should be upper age limit is twenty years for ten plus two candidates for B Tech Marine Engineering. Copy it, guys. 
आई एम सी टी यू हैव टू क्वालिफाई सीट्स ओनली फोर्टी सीट्स एंड दैट इज वाई आई गेस बी टेक के अंदर द वेटिंग पीरियड इज लेस एज कम्पेयर टू डी एन एस दिस इज माई पर्सनल ओपिनियन बट अगेन डोंट टेक माई ओपिनियंस एट ऑल गो फॉर द कॉलेज पोर्टल एंड सी वॉट द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ डी एन एस फ्रॉम समुद्रा और बी टेक आर सही अगेन फिजिकल एंड मेडिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स मेडिकल अप्रूव बाई डी सी डॉक्टर आई साइट both case can be 6 by 12 and worst case it can be 6 by 9 in one eye and 6 by 18 in other eye no color blindness at all copet again fees of samudra institute of maritime studies of btech marine engineering is 18 lakh 16000 18 lakh 60000 education loan aapko sabke liye milega you need to know that how to apply go to www.samudra.com click on the course application select pre c courses select your course and fill out the form accordingly that is how you do it and with this all i can say is watch the college portal video which is coming ahead where you will get to know what are good things about samudra institute maritime studies and what are the things which should be concerned about samudra institute maritime studies so there has been time where students keep asking me sir should i join this college how much is the placement criteria how much is the placement criteria how much is the waiting period and these things keep changing so i thought what to do and that is where the idea of starting something like google reviews on our own website merchant navy decoded came into my mind and that is how on my website called merchant navy decoded.com i started a thing called college portal so like when you have to book a uh, when you have to book a hotel you go for google reviews now if you want to go for a college you can see what are the reviews how is the standard so let us see how you have, you can do so you click on the college portal now suppose you are a gme aspirant so you will click over here you are a etu aspirant you will click over here you are a iim institute or dns aspirant you will click over here you are a gp rating aspirant it will come over here you are an aspirant for btech marine engineering then also there will be an option option over here and for any other course that comes with the time it will be there so right now say you come to this course and you are interested in say iim institute and dns and you want to know about anglo right so what you do is you click over on iim institute and dns anglo and then suddenly you will see the highly recommended colleges from merchant navy decoded over here for dns so for highly recommended you will see anglo station maybe over here or it will be in the other college section it depends whether ama is good or not but we'll recommend ama for sure as of now then you will click over here on ama so when you will click you will see overview section then you can click you can see all about overview then you can see the eligibility criteria then the fee structure registration process syllabus kaisa hai how is the placement recorded over here copied in ama everything you will come to know copied then this is the say you you click on the placement scenario you get to see the placement scenario of ama over here but the most important thing is how students perceive this college those who have studied over here so now you can come over and see the rating how good is anglo in case of placement how good is am am in case of waiting period how good is training and well being of am over here when you watch these ratings over here that is where you learn that is where you understand what are the right questions you need to ask and should you get into am or you should avoid getting into am so this is one thing apart from that it is a request if you know someone who has passed out from am for a particular course tell them bhai whatever your review is just to go and share on this college portal and yes don't be scared if you have something bad to share about any college any course just do that and post that review anonymously over here just posting it as no ki don't show my name post it as anonymously yes and your name will not come over and that is how this college portal is not going to just help you but every other person who is joining merchant navy thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata